this fast? Is this too fast? Is this okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Let's start with the age of exploration. We covered the age of exploration, talking about um, European countries going out, looking for certain things. Specifically, at this point in exploration, everyone had the same original early goal. What was every European nation looking for? The, the, west. the new world. Or not the west. Not the new world yet. No. no. A water the route oh. to Asia and Asia basically so that they could access trade, make more money, gain more power. Which country was the first to find that water route to India Portugal. and Asia? Portugal. Portugal. Who was the individual who found that water route? The Gama. The Gama. Where was the water route to and from? Where was it to and from? Around Africa. From Portugal. Portugal to India. Like, what basically, did they, want first? they wanted to find a water route to Asia and India. Did they have a land route? Yes. 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 But it was treacherous. It was the the landscape, the, I can't find the word I'm looking for, um, the domain was basically dangerous because of the... Thieves? Well, that's thieves, but I was thinking about the landscape itself. Terrain. Terrain. Thank you. Um, ultimately... <coughs> Should probably be on yeah. this section. Ultimately, uh, the Portuguese get an advancement, kind of an edge of a leg up, so to speak, because they find that water route first. Oh, let's see. Mercantilism really comes into play in this section. It's where we first talked about it, although we've talked about it throughout the year. On page 86, I think it is, in your textbook, and also in your notes, we talked about the principles of mercantilism. Who remembers some off the top of their head? Um, maximize exports. exports. Limit imports. Exports, maximize, limit Colonies. imports. Colonies. country's power is only measured by its wealth and gold and silver. And there's only so much gold and silver around the world. That's one that's really hitting place at this point in history. People are trying to find wealth in gold and silver, and how do you get that wealth? Take it. You, you take it from someone else, or you can go and find colonies, colonies with resources so that you can have more um, independence when it comes to locating resources, and also you can export more import ones. Oh, let's see. Able to compare mercantilism, which we originated with in this area, to imperialism, which came up way later. Understand how mercantilism impacts imperialism, specifically those points that really um, encouraged imperialism. Which country that we discussed in the Age of Exploration? were um, conquering the Aztec Empire. The Spain. The Spain. The Spanish. Come back. Okay. It's like sports that they have like singular things, just like tigers, it's like thunder. All right, the Aztecs were in modern day. Peru? Mexico. Mexico. Uh, and Central America. Ultimately, the Spanish go in with the help of conquistador. America. Cortez. 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 And they conquer the Aztec <laughs> Empire, thus creating quite a colonial empire in the New World for the Spanish. Amerigo Vespucci. A very interesting point here. Who is formally credited with discovering the Americas? Christopher Columbus. Christopher Columbus. But he technically thought he was where? In the Indies. In the Indies. Who really discovered the Americas? America. The man who they are named after, Amerigo Vespucci. 
Columbus discovered the island, thought he was elsewhere, and all of Spain believed that for quite some time. It wasn't until Amerigo Vespucci sailed south and found the mainland of South America and realized, no, this is new land, and they name it the Americas because of Amerigo Vespucci. And so be very careful with that when it comes to the final. What was your question? Triangle trade. We discussed triangle trade and it was a big important part. Triangle trade formed a triangle across what body of water? The Atlantic. The Atlantic Ocean. Now, let me see if our map is still up here. When it comes to triangle trade, where did triangle trade begin? In Europe. In Europe, specifically um, in this area up here. When those ships left port in Europe, what were they loaded with? Manufactured goods. Resources. Goods. Manufactured goods, perhaps. Maybe resources. Maybe supplies. Where did those ships head? Africa. To Africa first. Africa. Specifically to what is known as the slave coast of Africa. Obviously, what are they accessing there? Slaves. Slaves. How do Workforce. they get them? They, trade they capture them. They may have traded goods to other Africans who captured them for them, or they may have captured them themselves. Basically, at this point, on the slave coast, we are loading these slave ships with Africans. Where do we go now? The Americans. Now, West. it is not the U.S. The East Coast. Typically, Brazil. we are going in this region, maybe really? here, maybe here, uh, maybe small portions up there. The Americas. What is the purpose of taking our slaves You need here? more labor to work all the raw goods on them. Labor to access the resources available in these regions. So then do these slaves get back on the ship and go back? No. No. They stay. What goes from our second point back? Raw materials. Raw materials. Perhaps it's sugar. Perhaps it is tobacco. Um, tobacco. Some other resource produced in these regions. What does that resource provide us with at our final point? Profit. Profit. Why does this keep going again and again? So they just keep again. making more money and they don't because want to Because it's stop. that demand for profit that is triangle trade. Um, a term that was related to the section African diaspora. African diaspora. Does anyone remember what African diaspora means? It's the, um, the diffusion of African throughout the Americas. Mm -hmm. Basically, does Africa really benefit from this? No. No, but the world benefits from this because we receive that culture, whether it be music, whether it be language, whether it be stories, etc. Um, everywhere else benefits from this dispersion of that culture. you want to talk about again with the age of exploration? Um, okay, go ahead. 